Hi, welcome to this tutorial about CrowdSim 3D. In this tutorial, we will show you how to set up a similar scene where a running crowd will avoid a rock that falls from the sky. First, we create the physics simulation of the flying rock. The simulation is straightforward. We use a ground plate that acts as a passive rigid body and set the rock as an active rigid body. We keyframe the starting animation of the rock. At frame 6, we enable the physics engine. You can do this by keyframing the animated property in the wicked body setting. Now we identify the area where the rock lands. We want to direct the agents to avoid this area. We do this by adding a control object. And later, we will add behavior what the agent should do when they touch the control object. For the control object we add an empty. This empty is drawn as a sphere. The empty also has two child objects. These child objects are two meshes of a hemisphere that are placed so they form a single sphere. We do this as the crowd sim can only determine intersections between meshes. One of the hemisphere will be used to let the crowd, when intersecting, go to the left, and the other hemisphere will let the crowd go to the right. We have hidden the hemispheres in the outliner. We animated the empty to emerge at a certain frame, and goes away some frames later. During that time, the agents will avoid that section of the scene. Using such controls makes it easy to direct the behavior of the crowd. In the behavior, we check if the agent intersects with one of the hemispheres. We use an intersect node and an object selector node. In the object selector node, we select one of the hemispheres and have turned off the agent check. As we want the intersection to be calculated more precisely, we use the convex hull method. The intersect node is connected to a conditional node, and the success of the conditional node is connected to a set attribute node. The set attribute node will be executed when the agent intersects with the hemisphere. It will set the direction and the speed of the agent. When the agent does not intersect with the first hemisphere, we use a similar setup to check the other hemisphere. Lastly, when there are no intersections, we let the agent move ahead. The behavior we've seen so far only modifies the intent that the agent has. The rest of the nodes is used to avoid other agents, place the agents on their new location, and play a run action animation. Thank you for watching this video tutorial for CrowdSim 3D. We hope you liked it.